Hi there and welcome to this session. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you are learning a lot because that's what uh, each day is for me. And I hope it is for you as well. So today we're going to look at BARD to find out where we can use AI for research. Now there are uh, paid uh, programs of uh, AI for research, but I'm looking for anything that is free or at least initially free. So let's get started with a prompt. A prompt is a question or comment or anything that you add to a, an AI to get information. So we're going to write um, examples, it's not even a question in this case, examples of free AI for research. Now, sometimes it goes into business and I really want it to be for the academia. So research for, I'm going to add education and we'll make this plural, of course, and hit the enter button and hope for the best. Now, Google Bard is still being uh, fixed and improved on. It's learning with us. So here's one, Semantic Scholar. And of course you get the link here, which is different from ChatGPT, which isn't as current as Bard. Bard is current, and I mean Google Bard. Uh, helps you find organized research papers. It has a large database called articles. Now, if you don't have a university library, an online university library, this could be useful for you, but I do. And then there's Research Rabbit. And Writeful, I guess that's more for academic writing. Cogni provides personalized learning experiences for students. Hmm. Uh, no G is another free AI powered education platform. Now it's going more into education as you notice and less into research. So I'm going to uh, change the prompt and write only or just a research and not just research. Okay. And you'll have to uh, work on this perhaps until you get what you want. Just research based AI. So let's see what we get now. Just research based AI. Sure. So, oh yeah, illicit. Okay. Illicit is one that is uh, really, really nice. So here it's, um, it's free. Okay. So you add a research question and notice uh, illicit will find answers from 175 million Papers. So here are some examples. I'm interested in VR and mindfulness. Or maybe, yeah, okay, we'll keep it like that, even though I wanted VR for mindfulness, but okay. Now you can also filter these. I like the has PDF because uh, that's my preferred way of reading things. And then notice the dates, 2020 is fine, uh, 2017 is not, we want five. 2003 is definitely not, but it might be interesting reading, and then to continue reading. There's Google Scholar, of course, to find papers, so um, search for paper information, number of participants. Notice on the left here, this is how you can search for different papers. All right, this one seems okay. And here's an abstract summary. VR may help address the challenge of practicing mindfulness. There are challenges in practicing mindfulness. Uh, that's for sure. All right, so there's the paper. I can open like this. I can also download understanding how virtual reality can support. So there it is. You can also ask a question about, now this is absolutely amazing, about this paper. Um, and the question might be uh, tips. What outcome did they measure? Uh, who were the participants? 37 people. That's not, that's a small study here. And, um, but I think it's probably enough. Okay, I want more information on um, 
Okay, so there you can get information here and um, citations that are available. And you have the whole paper right here to read and get information on virtual reality and mindfulness and how the study went. So let's go back now and see if we can just get rid of this. And here we are. We're back here. Now you can export, as I said, as BIB, CSV. You can sort by paper title and the year. This is what I'm interested in because I want current things. And of course, citations. If you want to add the citations, you'll be able to get the paper. So this one is from 2023. I guess that's the latest. Uh, 2022, sorry. Nature-based mindfulness compassion. Uh, compassion programs, I know they have. Um, with VR. Um, programs using virtual reality. Oh, yes, I've heard of uh, Sadovsky. He's done amazing work, a narrative literature review. Understanding how virtual reality. Um, you know what? I think I'd like more things by Sadovsky. Uh, because he is um, well known in his virtual reality research. So let's take a look at it, open a new tab. And as I said, you can also download it to your computer. So let's see why it's not opening here. It's not opening in a new tab. I don't know why. So let's just click on it. And now it opened. All right. So um, let's get Sadovsky and see if we get any other papers by him because I know he's well known in the field of uh, research. Let's see what was um, search for paper information. Let's see. We actually want to filter uh, published after number of participants, abstract summary. They don't have notice here. I don't see authors, published date, study type. Okay, so you can get study after. You've got any dates, um, not after, but I would want before. <laughs> study type, okay, you've got reviews, systemized review, meta-analysis, longitudinal. Keywords. I hate to admit this, but I just um, contacted Elicit for some reason the task, if I go into the task, and plus create does not work, not on my desktop and not over here. As you can see, the uh, blank page just stays there. So I'm not sure um, how this works, but it doesn't seem to work right now. As I said, maybe because I'm on a Mac, even though I'm using Chrome, but I wanted to uh, rewrite a sentence. Notice it says sentence and not whole essay. So it's just one sentence at a time. You can also say more and so on, help me solve all these features that seem to be available under task. But I'm not sure how that works. It's uh, 2020. So this is the one that I was looking at before. And, um, and I think that's the one I'm going to stick with. And then according to this, you can ask questions relevant to this or to a paper of your own. And, and that's how far it goes right now. I'm sure there'll be improvements. I'm looking forward to them. I'll also uh, share the answer that I get from Elicit about the task and why it's not working on my Mac desktop as well as uh, in the browser. And I'll add that in the uh, comment or description of this video for you. So stay posted and have a great day. Try Elicit and let me know what you think.